In this Grade 12 Life Sciences video, we are preparing for the 2025 October-November finals. We are looking at the exam scope for your Paper 1. So this is your Paper 1 Life Sciences scope. We are going to look at all the topics that are specific for your Paper 1 and exactly what to study under those different topics. I recommend that you take screenshots as you go along of all the, sub all the topics or the subtopics that are listed under your main topics so that you are fully prepared. The first topic in your paper on scope is going to be reproduction in vertebrates. This is by far the shortest topic that you have in all of life sciences uh, in between paper one and paper two, but most specifically in your paper one, since it specifically refers to your paper one. What you need to cover under it is the diversity of reproductive strategies. With those reproductive strategies, you are looking at the role of animals in external fertilization and internal fertilization you're looking at ovipary ovivipary and vivipary and the definitions between them and how to differentiate them you're looking at also amniotic egg you're looking at the precocial and the altricial development and then you're also looking at the parental care of different kind of animals so this is uh, the topic where usually you will get it in where they are asking you for different definitions so make sure that you are comfortable with your definitions when it comes to this uh, topic when you're looking at a test book or a study guide like mind the gap for example when you meet the chapter where they teach about reproduction in vertebrates you will see that what they basically have done in there is basically giving you the definitions of different terms that are used in, in reproduction in vertebrates and that is exactly what I recommend that you do make sure that you are comfortable with those uh, definitions and make sure that you can even download that mind the gap it's free available on the internet if you are looking for a simpler way to study that topic the next topic is human reproduction with human reproduction we are looking at quite a number of things we are looking at the schematic outline of the human uh, human life cycle we are looking at the structure of the male reproductive system as well as the functions of each part in that system and then we're going to do the same thing with the structure of the female reproductive system and the functions of the different parts in the female reproduction system you're going to look at the changes in characteristics during puberty in males and in females then you're going to look at gematogenesis under which you will make sure you cover the formations spermatogenesis you're going to look at the functions as well as the sperm and the ovum structure and then you're also going to look at the oogenesis then you're going to end your studying with the menstrual cycle fertilization as well as implantation the next topic we have is responding to the environment the part of humans so you're going to make sure that under this one you cover the human nervous system the central nervous system the peripheral nervous system the autonomic nervous system and then you're also going to make sure you pay careful attention to the structure and the functions of the nerve also using or being able to identify them on a diagram then you also have to be able to do the simple uh, reflex arc you also have to look at the disorder of the nervous systems for example when we're dealing with Alzheimer's and then you also have to be able to give or understand the functions of the receptors then lastly you're going to look at the human ear as well as the human eye with them once again the emphasis is on you being able to identify different parts using the diagram so they can give you a zoomed in part of the human ear or the human eye and you have to be able to identify uh, those parts of the human ear or the human eye and then also once again the functions of those different parts in the human ear and the human eye are also going to be very very important for you to be able to give uh, and also be able to write down if it is a matching column you also have to be able to do those or if it is one of those questions where you are picking whether it is a or b or even b and b so you have to be very very comfortable when it comes to those the next topic we are again looking at the responding to the environment but 
but this time we are looking at the plants with the plants we are going to start once again with the plant hormones by the way i hope it goes without saying that all of these topics the definitions of concepts of different concepts that fall under this they should be your first thing that you make sure that you are comfortable with the first thing that you study so when we're talking about plant hormones for example can you define a hormone make sure that you are able to do so then we are also looking at the general functions of the following we are looking at oxygens we are looking at gibberellins we are looking at abscisic acid and then we are also looking at the control of weeds using plant hormones uh you also have to be able to explain how are the weeds controlled for example then you're also going to look at the role of oxygens in the geomorphism as well as phototrophism and then once again when we get to these ones make sure that you are once again comfortable with your definitions and your differentiations are you able to distinguish between geotrophism as well as phototrophism then we are looking at the plant defense mechanisms and the role of the plant defense mechanisms looking at specifically the chemicals and the thorns The last topic in your paper 1 is going to be the endocrine and the homeostasis in humans. With that you're going to have to first of all start with the endocrine system and make sure that you are comfortable with that. Once again the definition of hormones comes once again so you have to be make sure that you are comfortable with that. Like I said, the terminology, the concepts or however you want to call them, make sure that you are comfortable with your definitions and then you're looking at the location of glands and functions in hormones, you're looking at the homeostasis process, you're looking at the factors and the conditions in homeostasis or rather the ones that affect homeostasis and then you're looking at the negative feedback mechanism that is when we're looking at things like disorders like thyroxine and blood glucose once again the definitions play an important role here for example let's say the question is asking you to explain what blood glucose is there is no way you can give the explanation of blood glucose without having to give the definition of blood glucose so that's why i'm saying to you that the definition are most important make sure that you prioritize them if anything if you're studying last minute your definitions are the way to go then we have thermoregulation with the thermoregulation we are looking at the structure of the skin and then we are going to end everything else with the mechanisms for controlling temperature we are looking at sweating we are looking at vasodilation as well as vasoconstriction once again definitions are going to be your best friend recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below